Another day. Another 70 year old to play. Magic Crimen. So it looks like it's been updated, but um, that's fine. We'll be playing the update version because that's what recommended to basically do as a judge. So, update. We have balanced the difficulty of the game. The original version of the game was very difficult. Even I needed 15 plus tries. Balance edits. Reduce player damage from player abilities. Enemy spawn changed. Added difficulty scale. Change some enemies. The price of chests has been adjusted. Bug fixes. Fix restart. Change the landscape of the first map. Remove a small bump. And small mistakes. If you have ideas for items, you can suggest them in the comments. We'll try to add them. We are a team of two programmers presenting you the Magic Crimen game. You have to become stronger by opening chests with various abilities, but be careful. The complexity of constantly growing, and there are more and more enemies. <coughs> Controls. WSD to move. Attack with left, mu left mouse button. Right mouse button to basically create a shield. Use assets. Apart from a couple basic control scripts, all the rest of the code was written during the Sunday Year Old Challenge 2023 jam. All 3D models were taken from the websites. This is a game made by Dragon Cruden. And apparently it's just two people, but uh, that's fine. You basically have like this one user account for him. And it says it's a bullet hell right here, so... Interesting. So yeah, basically there's like two versions here, the original version and the rebalanced version. I've gone and downloaded the rebalanced version, and it seems to work, so let's just see what it's all about. Start. There doesn't seem to be any sound, by the way, so don't expect that. Basically, you have, like, you know, your attack here. There's, I guess, the shield. It's a temporary thing that popped up, I guess. Onward. Uh, they seem to be able to pass through the shield, maybe. Oh, nope, they can't. It's a boss. I'll note that my, my attack speed is pretty damn slow, so... Nothing else seems to be spawning here, by the way, so... We'll fight this guy till he dies. I don't know what to say about this game. I think like projectiles for your like you know your character's too slow. It does too like little damage for what it basically does. Like I'm not against having a slow progress for a player, but you know it should have something substantial behind it. So there's some oomph to it.
Where'd he go? I feel like the boss retreated from me there. Oh, he's that way. Oh, it seems like my range is like, you know, kind of limited here as well. Oh, he died. I got Tezzaquil pet. I'm not sure what to really say about this one. It seems a little bit like slow pace for like its upgrades and stuff. Oh, here's something like a little cheaper. Oh, there's a ranged guy. Ductile repulsion area. Aura. I know I'm just looking around for more resources to basically get, right? So. Do I have to escape like through a level? Oh uh, yeah, there's a portal over here. So let's go here. Note that I didn't keep my money bear, by the way, so you don't keep it between levels. But you do keep your pets. These basic characteristics. There we go. Now I got some firepower here. Ow. <clears throat> oh, here's this guy again. These guys put up shields. So I guess you get you can stun these guys is the idea of like the Telsa pet. Now I have to wonder if like if this is like handcraft or not because these levels look a little bit simple. So that's what I'll say about that. They look simple. Want to spawn around me? I 
I got explosion immunity. Okay. I got fire track. Gravity shield. There's no death animations for these guys, Bob, which is like, you know, kind of map, but whatever. Where am I supposed to go in this one? Oh, they can explode all I want, it's not going to hurt me. Maybe this way? Yep, there it is. Get out of here. Uh, out through the world. So I figure I have the basic gist of this game. Since it's like an action relic where you basically collect stuff. Okay, so that pays you health basically to take something. That's like a, you know, um, what that shrine is basically all about. Pay health basically to get like, you know, the rewards. I just realized these guys, these green guys are archers, or not archers, but wizards, with like, you know, different spells than like the blue guys. I thought they were like, you know, blue is mage and green is archer, but no, they're like, uh, they're both mages, I think. Killing him for a second, killing him, I guess. God, they keep spawning. Oh, there's the boss. Or no, that's a, just, uh. He doesn't have a boss thing here this time around, so he's not a boss. Let's go up here. There's more base characteristics. Climbing the hill. There's that guy down there. There's this guy again. Stick around, apparently. What is with all the shadows? Are they basically above me or something? Maybe? Let's take the base characteristics.
I'm going to kill this guy off, get some easy currency. This looks to be the same map as, like, you know, the last map, so... I'm really wondering if I'm just saying procedural generation, so I'll have to basically test that. Up in that way. I had to hold my microphone for a little bit there, but even so, I was able to sort of like just not be hit by anything. There's no sound right by, right by the way, so like, you know, my thing will come off if like, you know, my sound will come off if I basically like, you know, don't have any sound going to it, but whatever. So, the fruit map is repeating itself, by the way, here. Oh, that looks a little bit different. I like how the skulls are like, facing up trying to get to me. Oh, this still looks like the same map. I have to wonder if this is basically a, a 70 rel because I'm, I'm sort of seeing, seeing a lack of pursuit generation for, like, you know, the map. Just gonna spam this a little bit here to level up, I guess. They do get progressively difficult, but at the same time, they also, you know, don't exactly, like, you know, give you less money either. Is this the boss or is there another boss? Nope, that was the boss. Alright. We're going to basically restart this and see, like, you know, if it's any different. I'm basically go here. Alright, we're in the chasm again. If I go this way, we'll basically find, like, you know, our first chest. Uh, it's basically, like, you know. Okay, it's basically there's, like, randomly, like, placed chests and stuff like that. So, my take from this is basically sort of like a Risk of Rain type of game. Where, like, you know, things are basically get progressively tougher. And, really, in my opinion, Risk of Rain is actually not really a role like because it doesn't really have, like, procedural generation. It basically has, like, you know, randomized items and stuff like that, which is not really the same thing, in my opinion. And it's like, you know, you play through the maps and, like, you know, it's trying to get better here. Base characteristics again. We'll find this guy's right here.
You know, shield got, um, idea is cool, but I don't f feel it's like, you know, really doing much for me. Alright, that's basically enough to judge this, I think. So, that was basically like, you know, um, Magic Crimen. And, essentially it's like a Risk of Rain, but like, you know, on, on a top-down type of view. Not really what I consider basically a really, but you know, it is what it is, so I hope you guys basically enjoy it, and take care.